All right, go ahead. Yeah, this breed, back in the late 40s, when NG, when Scanziani was recovering the breed, the Connie Depressa, and making them, at first, the people in southern Italy wanted the dogs to be called Imolosso. In English, that means mol- the molasses. But the, or Connie di Molosso, dog of the molasses dog. But NG didn't want to call it molasses because they figured... There was a lot of different mastiff breeds that they called molasses. So since it was predominantly like in the Naples area, they called it a Neapolitan Mastiff, okay? But before that, Italian breeders called them Cani da Pressa. They would ask them, what's the name of that breed? Cani da Pressa. Or they would just call it straight. In Italy, they just call it a Mastiff. Mastino in Italian is Mastiff. They go Mastino. And the, even to this day, when they refer to a neo, they don't call it, they don't, the Italian breeders don't go, Mastino Napolitano, they don't say all that, they just call it a Mastiff in Italian, Mastino, when they refer to a, a, a Neapolitan in Italy, they call it a Mastiff, because that is their Mastiff, Italian, they don't have to specify it's an Italian Mastiff, because it's self-explanatory, they're in Italy, but when they talk about a Corso, they, talk, they say Corso in Italy. They don't say Mastino. So that's how they, they pick and choose. But in southern Italy, they still have dogs that are both Neapolitan Mastiff and Connie Corso. And they don't call them Neos, and they don't call them Corsos. They call them Connie da Pressa. Or they call it a southern, they, it translates roughly to southern catch dog because that's what they use it for catch the bulls, to catch the boars, to, to fight the, the, the wolves or whatever comes near their their, their uh, livestock. But there's still people that call them County Depressed in southern Italy. I mean, there's breeders. You can look them up on the internet. They still call them County Depressed. They don't care about dog shows. They don't care about neos. They don't care about corsos. All they want to do is breed two, two nice mastiffs together. They breed the southern style dog, the working dog, the Cani Depressa. Right. I mean, you can go, you know, I mean, it's a fact that there's a lot of people that don't even, uh, can, in fact, they call them, in Italy, they call the Cani, the, the Cani Corso boxoids. That's, in other words, a nickname for boxers. Boxer <laughs> oh, man. Them, in Italian, they call them boxoid because they're called because they don't, they're, they're from the old school. They want the Connie Depressa, the Neo and the Corso mix. That's well, that's what they grew up with. They're like my age, 40, 50 years old. They don't know nothing about the, the, the show dogs. They remember the dogs when they were younger, and they were like a Neo, a Neo that wasn't wrinkled. That's all. They're like a 70s Neo. That's what the, the Corso, the Connie Depressa looks like. It's right. It's like a 70s Neo, perfectly. 60s and 70 Neo. Right. And that's what they are. And I'll argue with any Connie kind of Corso breeder on this earth that wants to argue with me with the heritage of these dogs. And they're, and they're wrong. Because I know. I own Neos from... I've owned this breed since 1972. There's nobody in America, in America, that's had these dogs that long. Okay? There's nobody. There might be one breeder that's had Neos, but he's not from America. He's from Canada. But he, he, he's, he does his own thing. But, I mean, did it, I don't know where these people, they, they, they make up the history of the breed to suit themselves. They, they, write, they write my father, they write me out of the history. When they know damn well that we've been in the dog since 1972 with these masters. Right. Kind of the process. My father was experiencing them back in the in the 40s when he was a kid, you know. So, I mean, it, they, they're really ridiculous. And my family's been in this breed 60, 70 years between my father and I. My great-grandfather, who, who brought the dog, who had the dogs, he goes back a hun- over 100 years. You know, I mean, my cousin has him in Italy. And he's the same age as me. I mean, between my cousin, my father, my 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 great grandfather, we got like over two hundred years, two hundred fifty years of uh, a 
of kind of depressive experience, you know. But but all of a sudden, uh, I wasn't in the breed. I was I was nowhere near the the breed, you know. I mean, it, it's ridiculous. Very. Everybody knows who I am because I've been in the breed for that long. They can't write me out. You know, I'm here. Nah, I'm not going to let them write you out. Not going to let them count you out. I said, I'm not going to let them count you out or write you out. I mean, if I wasn't in the breed, why would ICCF uh, interview me for the last newsletter? You know? He he interviewed me for that newsletter, and then, uh, you know, then he didn't like what he... Afterwards, when I didn't like the way the courses were turning out, and... You know, I mean, it is what it is. And I'm going to tell you what, I, I'm not looking to step on their toes. I'm not looking to do this to, to mess up his thing. He's got his registry. He wants to pump out papers and do his dogs and have his two shows a year. I'm not in, I'm not in this for the money. I don't care about the money. I work for a living. I, I'm not looking to make uh, thousands of dollars off these dogs. If I breed a little once every three years, that'll be a lot for me, you know. But the whole thing is, you're not going to tell me I can't have my Connie depresses. I'm not even calling these dogs Corsos, okay? So, to me, they're two separate breeds. You, yes, we're going to use old-style Corsos and maybe some Neo, whatever we got to use with the Neapolitans that look like old-school Neos when we come across one maybe as an outcross, but but besides that, I'm not interfering with the Corso show world. If people end up coming over to the Connie Depressa, that's that's their thing. I'm not I'm not begging them to come over to my thing. If they want to come over, they're more than welcome. I welcome whoever wants to come over and show the respect and, and breed these dogs the way they're supposed to be bred. If you want to pump out puppies put your name on Facebook and you want to have 10,000 champions, go right ahead. But I'm not stopping you. Do your thing. But I'm going to have my Connie Depresses. And I, I figure people are going to come over and they're going to want to have real, real, uh, real Connie Depresses instead of these boxer and bull mastiff crap dogs. You know, they, unless they love those dogs, they should just get into band dogs, you know, or, well, they wouldn't even be satisfied with a band dog because a band dog would be too good of a dog for them because they're used to these boxer temperaments. And a band dog would be a little too much for most of these show people. But uh, that's that's how I feel. The Connie Depressa, I'm not stepping on anybody's toes. If they want to come, they come. If they don't, they don't. I'm gonna open. I'm reopening up the Federation of American Canines. Whoever wants to register dogs individually or start breeding litters or whatever. And it's not going to be like like I'm a whore and I take in everybody who breeds a dog or somebody who makes a band dog. No, it's not going to be that. That's a band dog, okay? I own band dogs, I know. I'm not making my band dogs into corsos. That's a separate thing. I like that type of cross. I'm going to tell everyone right now so they can't say that that I'm doing that shit later. I have band dogs. Yes, I have band dogs. But they are not going to be part of my Connie Depressive program. If they have Pitbull and Rottweiler and all that shit, uh, that's separate. That's a band dog. What I'm looking for is original blood, the type of dogs that are uh, that look like Kokomo, that look like... Uh, name some of the breeders, the best breeders. Cause, uh, well, I, uh, to... Today, yeah, Don Machete has some old school stuff. Um, Derek from Alcor has some real good stuff. Um, Rodriguez has some beautiful dogs. Yeah, he got some good dogs. Yeah, I'm not gonna hate on him. He got good dogs. Um, there's a guy that lives in the same city as me, Mr. McNeil. Yeah, Queen City. Person, but he has some excellent dogs. Yes, yes. Like basically, about seventy five percent original bloodlines. Brick so, Brick City, yeah, it's a lot of breeders. It's a lot of it's a lot of good breeders. It's a lot of good breeders. Are not in the. Some of them are not in the front run. 
And it is a lot of good enthusiasts that has good dolls. Like Graceful, she got some good stuff. Um, Denise from Jersey, she got some good stuff. It's like a lot of people got good dogs, man. The old school stuff, I'm saying. You know, that's not into the show arena or nothing like that. But still kept the, you know, the, the, the traditional dogs. Or dogs that are coming from your, your um... Your lin um the back the their their background is from your lineage from dogs that like Kokomo and etc. Super six type stuff is in the background of their pedigree. So, I mean, it's it's some good dogs. That's all I'm looking for. I'm looking for dogs that come from that old style and they're gonna be good. for the clarity on that because you know it's a big type of argument about that situation you know a lot of corso breeders was up at arms with that you know they really was upset you know they told us to get out the breed so now when we leave in the breed it still it was an issue <laughs> but i mean you know yeah. they they're very some a lot of them are very yeah exactly exactly so this is true, yeah. but, but definitely but I wanted I think to. They just want me around so they can complain about me. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't know. I'm just saying. Yeah. I just wanted to. I don't know. Wanted the world to know that first of all that you are excellent dog man. Secondly, that you've been these dogs for, I don't know how long. I mean, but longer than anybody in America has been in these dogs, and people should get their information from you. So. My thing was, like, I was hoping that people interview you, other registries, etc., you know, just to get the truth for the matter. But since nobody want to do this, I do it myself. And hopefully that the point to get across, though. So this is where people know who you are. People heard it from you verbatimly out your mouth, and that's that. So, I mean, now we kind of pressed for time, but this is in a nutshell. Hopefully that people will get the point. So thanks for doing this. And uh, thanks for the clarity, Mike. Really appreciate it. Anytime. All right, man. Thanks a lot. Thank you.